Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about freedom. Freedom in the United States. Different kinds of freedom. And we're going to talk about rankings of freedom. You know, in the U.S., you always have people, it's about my freedom. Um, most times, it's a pretty intangible idea. And a lot of times, it's just words. It's just rhetoric. It doesn't really mean anything. Um, but there is... A, uh, a think tank that ranks states by freedom. And it goes through and it, it takes it in, in a whole bunch of different ways. It's called the Cato Institute. It is a libertarian think tank. Um, I think they would call themselves libertarian. They certainly appear to be to me. Um, for Europeans, American libertarian, not not your kind of libertarian. <laughs> very, very different um, thing. Uh, they are like right-wing, free-market kind of people. Okay, They put out this, this listing every year, and they divide it between economic freedom and personal freedom. Now, generally speaking, when I'm looking at the economic freedom you know, listing, those are freedoms that your boss enjoys for the most part. There are some of them that, that do impact you know, the average person, but for the most part, that's stuff that applies to business. Um, the personal freedom one, though, I always find that one really interesting because they go through and they look at, like, incarceration rights and they look at gun rights and marriage rights. Um, they look at travel rights, education, just all kinds of things. And they blend it all together, they average it all out, and they come up with these rankings, and then, of course, they also have one where they like average both the economic and the personal freedom one together. Okay, Me, personally, the personal freedom one is the one that I, I tend to look at the most. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the five least free states when it comes to personal freedom in the U.S. as ranked by an organization that definitely, in my mind, leans right. Okay. So, number one would be the least free state in the United States. Number five, South Carolina. Number four, Kentucky. Number three, Wyoming. Number two, Idaho. Number one, Texas. That's weird, right? I mean, that's like, that runs counter to like all the rhetoric. You know, when you think of a place like Idaho, you you think of personal freedom a lot of times. You you think of that rugged individualist. But according to the information, according to the rankings, it's not. Now, a lot of these places have good economic freedom, but not personal freedom. And I think it is I think it's valuable that they divide the two out like that. Because in many ways, if somebody was interested, they could go through and they could really see through a lot of the rhetoric. Um, it is interesting to me that those people who always talk about their freedoms, a lot of them live in states that don't really have a whole lot of personal freedom, that rank at the very bottom And when that happens, you have to kind of wonder if their definition of freedom is the same as everybody else's. Or if freedom in these locations really means I will obey and do what I'm told. I am free to obey my betters. And I will keep voting them in so they can continue to chip away at my rights. When you look at the listing, it's definitely a conclusion you can draw. Um, I, I'll put it down below. I'll try to remember to put it down below so y'all can look at it, especially if you're interested in the economic freedom stuff, because to me, you, like I said, that to me isn't as interesting. It's not quite as telling. 
because the the economic one it lines up with what you would think you know states that are high in taxation and stuff like that they're at the bottom and we all know like california new york places like that but these are states when it comes to personal freedom these are states that like to pretend they are free they like to pretend that they have the most personal freedom but when you actually look at the information, it, it seems like that's just empty rhetoric. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.